Okay, let's start at the beginning and try to rewrite the problem so it looks like a conic section. Um, they do tell you it's an ellipse. Uh, right now, just not making any assumptions, I'll just re rewrite 49x squared. I got this part, minus 98x. I think I put plus 36y uh, squared. Got this, minus 360. And then I'm going to take the number, put it on the side, 815. I'm going to factor out 49 from the first two terms, and you get 49 x squared minus 2x. I'll leave a little space there. Factor 36 out over here, and you get y squared minus, let's see, that would be 10. Leave a little space there, and then I get 815. To complete the square, this is going to be plus 1, which I'm actually adding 49 then. All right, over there I'm going to add 25. And really what am I doing? I'm adding 36 times 25. All right, I got some arithmetic to do. I got 49. That would be x minus 1 squared plus 36. That would be y minus 5 squared. And now I got some arithmetic to do. Well, 815 and 49, that's pretty reasonable. But let me write it down for you. So 815, 49, that gives you uh, uh, 14, 4, 5, 6, 864. Now I got to do 36 times 25. Let me write that down for you. 36 times 25. I'm going to say it's 36 times 100 over 4. Same thing as 25. 4 goes into 36. 9 times, and 9 times 100 is 900. So what do you get there? You would get 1,764. All right? So what I need to do is I need to divide both sides by 1,764. We're almost there. So I'm going to my race drag. i got a lot of work written down over here. I don't need it anymore. It's arithmetic. And... Um, the assumption is you can do arithmetic. I got some problems over here, don't I? I'm looking at this 49. Yeah, I'm going to do 36 first. Let's do 36 into 1764. Well, let's see. I'm going to say about four times. And four times six is 24. 12, 13, 14. Let's see. You get two there. And seven, so you get three there. That looks pretty good. Then you get a four. And what times 36 is about 324? I'm going to say roughly about nine. Nine times six is 54. Then you get nine times three is 27. 30, 27. Yeah, 32. Wow. Remainder zero. So I got something good over here. What do I get? Plus y minus five squared, and that would be 49. Well, isn't that convenient? Then when you get over here, you get x minus 1 squared. Well, 49 goes into 1764 now, 36 times. How do I know that? It's right over here. All right? Let's take a look at the key and see if we got that. I got this, and I got this. All right? The next question, center, vertices, foci. All right? They do ask about eccentricity as well. Let's write this down. All right? So the center, relatively simple to write down, is going to be 1, 5, all right? Now, certainly, I'm going to draw the picture at the same time. Not very good picture, by the way. But let's see, 1, 5. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's the center. And now I want to go for the... Um, Let's see what I want to go for. I guess I'll go for the, uh, the vertices. And let's take a look at that. And let's put some points down, or easy points here. And we'll put the, there's two vertices, by the way. And uh, let's put a table down. X, Y. Let's set x to be 1 first. 
And you get two different values there, by the way. And then what would you get over there? Well, you'd certainly get minus 2. Because minus 2 minus 5 is um, minus 7. And minus 7 squared is the same thing as 7 squared. And you'd also get 12. Because 12 minus 5 is 7. All right, let's do the other ones. Let's do y is 5 now. There's going to be two of those. And now what do I get? I would get minus 5. And then what else do you get? Uh, see, I could get minus 6 over here, right? So I get the minus 5 and 7. All right? So I realize, you know, I, I wonder what, what to do now. I guess you could plot those points, and they're really not bad to plot. But my issue over here is that uh, which one is the longest distance over here? Now, between these two over here, the distance is 14, and the distance over there, looking at it, is going to be um, 13, all right? I'm sorry, 12. This is the major axis. So I found my vertices. What are they going to be? One vertice is 1 minus 2. The other vertice is going to be 1 12, all right? Um, again, if you're looking at that, it's you know sort of like this over here and that up there. It's kind of hard to visualize that. The other one's, you know, minus 5, 5. Uh, maybe over here somewhere, and then 7, 5 over here, all right? So what I want to do is I want to do the foci now, the foci, all right? Well, I can get the c squared. Then what's that going to be? The difference between these two numbers. So it's going to be 49, which is 7 squared, minus 36. And that's going to be 9 and 4, which is 13. So the c is going to be root 13. And now I got to go from the center to get the foci. I have to go into the center. The center is 1. And then I go 5 plus root 13. And the other foci is going to be 1, comma, 5 minus root 13. All right? Let me just get my red pen out and make sure I got all these answers written down for you. So center, the vertices. The foci. Yep. All right. Eccentricity. All right. It's going to be the C. Over the um, the A. And the A is 7. Again, this is the A squared. And that's the B squared. So C is root 13. And the A is 7. For some reason, they use the letter E for this. I don't like doing that, though. I'm just going to write down root 13 over 7 is the eccentricity. All right, let me see what's written down. That's right over here. By the way, I know my graph looks pretty bad here. Let's go to the better-looking graph. It's over here. Center, foci, vertices. And again, it's a much better graph. Thank you.